Now let's get straight to your stocks to watch with Joe Easton from our equities team. Joe, UK pubs, what we're not doing our bit enough to, to hold it strong. I know we really need to uh, work harder there, I think, Fran. But you're right, so pubs make it back onto to stocks to watch. But as you know, I am usually thinking about the boozer. So we first look at some news from the UK hospitality trade body, who's warning that sales are down around 50% last week versus pre-pandemic levels. This is, of course, as strikes hit the UK capital with around four days of rail strike action last week, wiping out a lot of the footfall. I walked through the city of London today and it really was like something out of The Walking Dead. Virtually nobody around at all. This comes amid warnings from several analysts including Deutsche Bank who we spoke about around a month ago warning of a lost year for UK pubs next year as people are forced to spend more on their energy bills and their mortgages and have less time for pints of beer. Profits could fall around 35% for the sector into the new year according to those analysts and these strikes are really the last thing those companies need need, judging by the share prices that we see on the screen here, for the likes of Weatherspoons and Mitchell and Butler. Joe, good morning. You said your head is always in the boozer. I saw on the board you're the next thing you're looking at is chip makers. You're not talking about pub chips, are you? That's a great, <laughs> great segue there, Mark. I'm a big fan of that one. Who doesn't like chips at the pub? That is a good one. Um, but we are, of course, talking about semiconductors. Micron, the US company, the largest maker of memory chips in America, having some really bad numbers last night. Their sales down 47% on the quarter, and they're predicting a wider loss than expected as well. And we did see some weakness, not a huge drop, a couple of percentage points for Micron. There's a big glut in supply in terms of chips at the moment, in terms of semiconductors. So Micron saying they're going to cut investment, they're going to cut production as firms are reducing their orders for things like smartphones and computers, all the things that go into the consumer world. This is going to be particularly important today for the likes of Infineon, ST Micro and AMS Osram. All of those stocks, as we can see here, down sharply year to day and could see some further weakness today. I'm so distracted. I'm thinking of chips and the pubs and drinks and mulled wine. Like, save me, Joe. Let's talk about the cinema world. That's right. So we move on to cinemas. And there was a report yesterday saying that everybody's favourite meme stock in the US, AMC, considered buying the European assets of Cineworld, the London-listed company, that you will remember went into bankruptcy in September. AMC, during the pandemic, was able to ride that retail wave, sell a lot of stocks and refinance. Cineworld wasn't able to do this. If we look at that stock there on a five-year basis, that stock would make The Exorcist look like a Christmas movie. It was at one time trading at £4 billion, and now it's trading at just £50 million. So it's a really huge drop, even though there are still some good films out there that are on at the moment. Avatar, The Way of Water is the big one that's going to boost sales over the Christmas period, according to analysts, although box office for this year will be only two-thirds of what it was before the pandemic. We're all at home watching Netflix rather than back in the cinema. There could be some more pain for that stock today. As we see, over five years, down 99%. That really is a horror movie for that one, Fran.